I'd like to have a conversation with the collective concerning thievery, where one takes an idea. We all know that there's nothing new under the sun. That's a given. There is no new energy. It never dies. Einstein spoke of this. However, there are many individuals out here who take from little less known content creators, remix it, and make it their own. And as one of those new content creators, I'm noticing. And it's not just me, but it's various other content creators who um, may get discouraged and feeling as if, man, what's the point? I want you to stay encouraged. And here's why. Sometimes your message is so powerful that it needs to be amplified. And this amplification is not necessarily a bad thing, despite you feeling in the moment, damn, he stole my idea, or damn, she stole my idea. Like I said, there is nothing new under the sun. This is a lesson from the creator, the ultimate creator, the one who started it all. The creator is trying to discern your heart and is asking you, are you in this for the long haul? Are you truly dedicated to your craft? I called you to this, but are you real about it? Is it something you genuinely love? Or are you doing this for popularity? I've said this multiple times. 2024 is the year of exposure. And what is done in the dark will come to the light. Many tarot card readers have readings open where you can pay for a reading for a certain amount. And they will take your information that you give them and spin it into a post that doesn't give any detection of who you are per se, but has subliminal meaning to your story. Now, as an alchemist, that might be considered energy harvesting. And that's no bueno. Within this story is many people's stories. So when you hear something from like, let's say a public reading and you say, oh my goodness, I identify with that. That is someone's actual story. And sometimes it's not somebody's actual story. There are some individuals who throw things out there to see whether it catches wind and see who spins off on it, creating a manufactured lie. It's the same way, for instance, Beyonce, shout out to the Beehive, creates works of art, storylines, and all types of things that relate to the single life when she's married with beautiful children. It's up to you to discern whether it resonates with you or not. There are some people straight up lying out here saying they've lived things they never have and done things they've never done. It's reminiscent of the comedy issue on YouTube where there are some people saying that they've stolen their joke from years ago and taking credit for it in the present. Even though that they are extremely popular, there's no reason for them to do that. They have the ability to take writers, teams to create amazing new work. Anyway, back to everyone's real, true, actual, lived story. But for them, it's a personal vendetta. Based on jealousy. All of us are living simultaneously different stories on different timelines that are all the same. So these are called karmic cycles, right? And sometimes we repeat them our entire lives where people swagger jack whatever it is that you do and remix it and remix it and remix it, for instance, right? Because that's the subject we're talking about. Another form of energy harvesting. It is your responsibility as a person person learning this lesson, how are they depleting your energy and getting away with it? The question you must ask yourself, where do I feel lack? Where do I feel like I am not good enough? Where do I feel I need to patch the hole in the boat that keeps you afloat? Some of it is childhood trauma. Some of it has to do with karmic cycles you're in in relationships. Some of it has to do with projection from other people. Like someone calling a person a whore when they are in fact the whore. Devil is the accuser. Because here's the thing, we talk about witchcraft, right? Me personally, I don't practice witchcraft. However, I know a lot about it. Know thine enemy, Sun Tzu, art of war. Not all witchcraft is negative. As above, so below. And not all witchcraft is positive. Just like not all congregations in churches are negative and not all congregations in churches are positive. Just so we go there. Mosques, you name it. In all levels of worship, there is some level of corruption. It's just that lately, a lot of the world is slowly understanding that this low vibration has been around for so long that right now, the tables are turning. 
And we're at a point in humanity where the cut and paste, the lies and underhandedness, the talking to authorities behind one's backs, all of these things, the chickens are coming home to roost. Shout out to Malcolm X. <laughs> I like to give credit where credit is due. And that is the basis of this message. If you're going to shout somebody out, give them their props. If you're going to take a point of a piece that they're doing, give them their flowers. If not, the ancestors will. 2024 is the year of exposure, but it's also the year will you be running back people's energy? Anyone who has taken from you, monetarily or otherwise. What is it Rihanna says? Bitch, better have my money. <laughs> That is literally the vibe for 2024. Pay me what you owe me. I hope this is helpful to somebody and I don't want you to get discouraged. Are you in it for likes, popularity, or are you in it to change people's minds and expand their heart chakra and make this world a better place? I ask you this because when you get that what is it that flutter or adrenaline rush when you see the post or you go to the office and you see the person literally doing a presentation that you talked to them about behind the scenes a week ago or you go to a performance and you're friends with a performing artist and you literally hear the same chord progressions you showed them in a zoom presented right <laughs> know that you are the originator of whatever that was however the grand creator of all things is who created it all and he sees it too. The same way we replicate and try to perpetuate that we are God as pastors or as light workers or even using witchcraft as well as leaders of organizations. God sees that too. And the great humbling is beginning. God is going to smack out of the hands that ball and run it back down the court for you. In closing, when we die, we're all Mozart. We're all Beethoven. We're all eloquent. We're all incredible because the creator gives us that energy and it's at our beck and call. It's just on earth we're competing. Anyway, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Have a great day.